Hello my friends! I have finished my Christmas gift knitting! Yay! Welcome my friends to a short little knitting podcast here at Muddy Boots Maker. My name is Amy and I am a maker and a grower here on Jaja Warren Country in Victoria, Australia. And I am here to show you what I have made this Christmas. I have just focused on my three beautiful kids and this is probably the last time I will make them toys like this. Um, my two older children will thoroughly enjoy the gifts, but they will just sit there, whereas my youngest child will play with hers. I have no doubt at all. <laughs> she will want more accessories and clothing made for her little toy. So if you are new here, I have been doing Vlogmas and this is sort of a Vlogmas style of my knitting podcast. I wanted to be able to show you what I made for my kids this Christmas and you know, while they're fresh and beautifully um, put together before they're played and they might get, you know, stains or whatever happens <laughs> when my kids play or use their toys. I am drinking a rosehip tea um, with lemongrass and ginger and it is too hot to sit right now. I do have the fan on because it is, oh, how hot is it today, 25, 27 and um, I'm hoping it's pretty silent so I don't think it will interfere with the sound which is good. So those who know me know that I show you everything here that I make. So I'm a maker of knitting and sewing items. I have a handmade store in my studio here. We hand make products which are sold wholesale around Australia. And also I have a shop as well. Um, but I'm also a maker of growing things. So I like to make beautiful gardens, functional gardens. Um, I have a huge um, vegetable, or many vegetable patches out the back here. And I have a little flower garden as well. And in our front section, we have a huge um, flower, fruit tree, herbs garden out the front. Um, we live on a small farm. We have sheep, alpacas, chickens, cats, and now we have two gorgeous puppies that we've introduced to our family this month. So that's a bit about me down here. This December I have been enjoying opening lots of advents. I've done advent swaps with four friends and I also have purchased a Natural Fibre Arts advent calendar as well. And they have been a joy to open each day. I am posting this on the 23rd of December and this will be the last video that I put up for vlog Vlogmas. I won't be able to edit a video tomorrow so there will be no Christmas Eve video going up on Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. But I might take a little bit of footage and put up a New Year's video that will have the last day of my advent openings and everything that happens. You know, little snippets of Christmas Day, little snippets of the making that happen between Christmas and New Year's. So I will do a little vlog um, to sort of wrap up and end that Christmas advent celebration. 
And man, I was trying to keep the motivation of making these Christmas presents. I was trying to keep <laughs> keep going with it and try and finish it within a few days this week. But, you know, life happened. There were some days where I couldn't knit much at all. I know that there was like one day where I showed you like a sweater that I'd started for one of the toys. And then the next day I was showing you exactly the same part that I was up to. I think I did like a couple of rounds of it um, one day and that was it. That was all I could manage. Um, I was re I was really hoping that today, on Friday today, on the 23rd, I would get an opportunity to make something for myself, but I'm not going to, I'm not really, I'm not in that making space anymore, making for joy anyway. I've given it all to these items and I'm ready to just, uh, I don't know, I'm actually thinking I might pick up one of my sweaters and try and get onto the arms of that sweater. Or I might continue making my little stockings, which I've been making. I've got one right here. So I've been making these cute little stocking decorations. And I definitely want to keep some of these for myself, but I also want to gift some of these on Christmas Day. So I'm going to take these ones along for gifting and I'm going to continue making them. And I'm going to take some knitting along on Christmas Day, so I may as well take this along because it's easy to knit while I'm having conversations with family and friends. Um, so, so I think that's what I'm going to be doing and I'm feeling like I, you know, my kids have already started sort of packing and cleaning up their um, items for um, going to see family. Um, we're wrapping up all the presents and we're finishing off all the baking. Um, Hazel's been icing all the um, gingerbread biscuits that we made so she did a really good job of um, of icing up those. I'm just going to go into that slow even more now um, and I'm going to get lots of sleep because <laughs> I stayed up a few late, I had a few late nights and um, yeah I need, I need some more sleep probably um, although I'm feeling quite good today. So let's get on with showing you what I have made. All of these toys have come from patterns from Cynthia Valet, um, from Cynthia, which is their um, Ravelry and Instagram account. And this one is the mouse. And I really, really would love to make the sweater that goes with this, but it's going to have to wait for another time. Um, I've already shown you this in my vlogs, but I just added some tiny little buttons to the overalls, which I think is really cute. I love the little hole for the tail. That is just everything. <laughs> And it's just so cute. So there is Hazel's Christmas present and I can't wait to pop this in the top of her stocking and it's just gonna look out the top <laughs> and she's gonna be so excited about that. So I will put the um, all the details down below and on the screen. Um, I will put the yarns that I used as much as I can. I know that I used some leftovers of the pink. Um, I might be able to find out what that was. Um, and the little overalls in some um, blue that I had left over as well. But the, but the grey yarn I got from Zigo Zago in Castlemaine and um, I will put that on the screen as well. And I absolutely love all of these patterns that Cynthia makes. She is really thorough with her patterns. They are so well written. They are all in one, like you do not have any seams other than between the legs to do up. I'll take the overalls off so you can see the mouse by itself. 
Yeah, so the only seam grafting that you need to do is here and then you or you have to graft the ends of the um, the limbs as well but you just start here and you work your way down um, and I really really love it it's very clever I've made three of her bear um, patterns before oh it's one bear it's one pattern I've made three three bears um, and I just I just feel like these knit up quite quickly um, and beautifully and the clothes are just they just add so much more to the item as well so there we go all dressed up again yeah there's not um, what else can I say about this pattern I didn't have any difficulties with this one at all um, I just I just think that you know you really need to read through the pattern before you start it um, that it's there are you know there are sections and the sections are split up with instructions at the start of each of them or information that you need to know that uh, with what's happening in that section so they're really really well written and um, really concise and I I didn't find I didn't have any trouble with this at all it's a wonderful wonderful pattern okay next up let's do Jodie so this one is called Jodie the turtle or Jodie turtle and this is for Samuel of course he will probably give it a different name or <laughs> won't name it or it'll just sit cheerfully on his desk and he will know I love him so because I made it for him just for him um I this is just oh it's just so cute these little shoes oh my goodness I need to take these little shoes off and show you I really wanted to make shoes for the other two as well um and if I feel up to it, I might make some. <laughs> but, oh, oh, my hand's funny that way. Let's do it this way. <laughs> so, there are the shoes. They are so sweet. So you can make them with or without the little straps and buttons. But I just thought that that finished them off really beautifully. Now, um, this pattern, again, like the mouse, it was so, um, so well written. There were, there was one part when I was making, when I'm making the jumpsuit. Um, I think maybe something had been left out of the pattern, just like one, one or two stitches count was out. Um, but I just, it's pretty easy to just go around that and and um, finish it fine so that was all good um, yeah other than that everything was perfect with this one and again starting at the nose the turtle was knit all the way down and just had seams at the end of the limbs and in between the crotch or in between the legs at the crotch <laughs> um, and I was really worried that I wasn't going to get this jumpsuit done so I just I guess I just was tired and lost sort of momentum but I did it this morning from start to finish and it's done so that is good it's got this cute cable pattern at the back to sort of make the texture of the shell of the turtle and these buttons do do up so you can pop this underneath and pop the buttons on you're gonna go in to your little hole one of my holes is not as easy to put in as the other there we go so they can sit like that as well pretty cute pretty cute a lot cute really um, I will take the jumpsuit off to show you 
the turtle by itself. So the jumpsuit, I find it easy to take the, oh, funnily enough, to take the feet out first, but I actually put the feet in first when I'm putting it on. Okay, so here's the, here's the jumpsuit. It's so sweet, so cute. And here is the turtle. So it's all green, the same green as the dress that I am knitting for myself, which I have not worked on at all. Um, I have not worked on for a while, so. There it is, so cute. I'm going to dress him up again. There's also a shawl that goes with this pattern and I I won't be knitting that. I've, knit, I've knitted the shawl before actually. Um, I purchased the patterns a long time ago when Cynthia was having a sale and so I purchased uh, five of her patterns and I made the bears and I did the accessories for, for other toys um, in their patterns for the bears. Did that make sense? So I made the shawl from this one for the bear. Um, yeah, so you can interchange the clothes on some of these, which is great. There we go. Oh, oh, need shoes on. And yeah, as I said, this is probably the last year I will knit toys for my two older children. Um, I'm going to focus on garment knitting instead. So more um, functional pieces rather than the toys because I think they have enough knitted items from me and I will just have to wait till a special child comes along. Although, you know, my daughter Hazel will love having knitted um, animals. Although she has quite a few now and I've been told not to make any more for her by my husband because she's got a lot there to manage and keep tidy and clean. Um, nevertheless, she will probably receive some from me because if they are knit worthy, they're going to enjoy it, then they get it because that is how it is. Okay, so I'm going to put the turtle aside. Oh, I'm so excited that I got that jumpsuit done. Oh my goodness. Now this one turned out a bit bigger than I thought. I thought it was going to be the same size as the other two, but it is slightly larger. This is for Charlotte and it is the mole called Mary Molly. And here is Mary Molly. I have made a sweater for the mole. Um, the mole also has uh, a, like a skirt dungaree type thing and I wish I had finished um, that as well but no time, no time to do that. So just a little sweater for this one. Um, now this pattern, everything was fine. Um, I didn't have any problems. The only thing is the tail is not exactly centered, but that's okay. It doesn't matter. Not everybody has a centered tail. <laughs> not every mole might have a centered tail. <laughs> um, centered tail, not centered. <laughs> um, here we go, some close ups. And I have seen people, well, I've seen one person make a platypus out of this pattern. So they've done sort of more of a bigger um, build face and then a bigger tail. And I was going to do that with this one, but that was just Hazel. She was asking for more jars to put the gingerbread biscuits in. So what was I talking about? Okay. Oh yeah, so the platypus. So there was no way that I was going to be able to adjust a pattern and get it completed in time. So I just went with the um, pattern of the mole and I'm pretty happy with my decision. Um, I stuff my toys, I sort of overstuff my toys um, that I make because I always find that after a while they sort of, it sort of compacts and um, I have read somewhere that 
um, over stuffing them, you know, like not too overly, um, but stuffing them really well and really tightly is the way to go. Um, I have filled all of these with wool and alpaca fleece. Um, not my alpaca fleece. I did not have time to, I've got washed white alpaca fleece up in my, up in my shelves in my studio, but I didn't have time to card it and I re you really have to card it so that it's um, nice and fluffy for stuffing. Um, so I used a bag that I got from Bendigo Woolen Mills. Sometimes you can find, they have the roving, but sometimes you can find the just um, fleece that they have for stuffing and it it's really it's really you know affordable and um, I had a bag of it so I used it for all of these three toys and I always stuff my um, the toys and everything that I make with natural fibers um, and usually with our alpaca fleece from our alpacas on the farm. And if you're new around here, our sheep are not fleece sheep. I can collect their fleece sometimes. They just drop it. They're meat sheep. So we don't have fleece from the sheep, but we have fleece from the alpacas. What else can I say about you? Yeah, so it turned out quite big, much, much bigger than the bears that I've made previously and these ones. So yeah, quite, quite, quite a lot bigger, but that's okay. The mouse and the turtle are pretty much the same size, um, but yeah, the mole is a larger one. And I believe there is a, like a child mole in Cynthia's patterns. So she has a smaller version, but I think it would be even smaller than these two here as well. It might be warm out there, but it is still sort of overcast. Like there's lots of clouds today, you know, and then it rained yesterday. We had a big summer storm come through, you know, those types of storms, they roll through and they like the rain just belts down and then all of a sudden it's blue skies again. So these are the three toys that I have made for Christmas and uh, when did I start these? I started making these after Charlotte's birthday on the 11th. So wow, that is a good amount of knitting done in two weeks time. They are so very sweet and I'm so happy to have accomplished this. Oh my goodness. It was a lot of knitting. Um, my hands don't hurt though, knock on wood. Thankfully they don't. They sometimes start to hurt when I'm knitting really tiny things, especially when I was knitting the fingers here on the mole. I was thinking, oh no, my fingers are gonna start hurting. Um, but all good. Um, although I am going to try and rest my hands for a while. I couldn't even bring myself to do any sort of knitting when we were watching Wednesday on Wednesday. <laughs> we watched a couple of episodes of that new Netflix series Wednesday on Wednesday Adams um, on Wednesday night and um, I just I, I couldn't do any knitting. I was just no. <laughs> I was like no I'm not gonna do anything. Um, yeah I've sort of exhausted myself really. Um, but something simple and something easy to follow will continue after doing these toys. I will be enjoying some easy knits and probably a lot of things like dishcloths and washcloths and things like that that aren't going to be too hot on my body as well. A sweater might be too hot now that it's getting into the 30 degree days. Christmas day is going to be like 31, 32. And then we're going to have a whole series of days in the 35, 36 to 37 degrees after Christmas Day. So we were going to be pumping water a lot and watching closely um, by the animals and the garden and that watering quite a bit. <sighs> Yay, they're done. Yay. 
I'm so happy and I think my kids are going to be extremely happy with what I have made. This has gone above and beyond anything I have done pre in previous years. So I am really, really happy. Look at them there. They could all sit on my shoulder. <laughs> And this afternoon, my kids and I, we're going to watch a Christmas movie or something this afternoon after we've done some cleaning and we're just going to relax. I don't have much to do today food wise. Everything is going to be done tomorrow. So yeah, I will do a bit of videoing as I said, um, but this is the last video that is going up for Vlogmas for now anyway. I will do a little follow-up video in the new year and I will also probably sit down and talk to you in the new year about my plans for next year. I'm very, very excited about getting back into making and what I have, what I am wanting to offer, all these ideas for videos that I have and also um, Patreon, I'm going to start that next year as well. I'm also going to start a newsletter because more and more I am seeing that a newsletter really needs to be done and it's something that's been on my business to do for a long time so I'm going to start one of those. It's probably just going to be like a seasonal newsletter coming you know email coming out so four times a year sort of thing and then if there's any specials or any offerings that I am putting out there so I'm looking forward to starting that plus um, I'm just giving away all of the things that I <laughs> want to announce but this this is um, something that is going to be happening um, on January the 1st I will have a new website and I will also have a new shop so I'm very excited about that I will still have my Etsy shop up but I'm really looking forward to having an independent shop away from Etsy so that will be really really lovely and I look forward to working on my new website during the time between Christmas and New Year's oh I almost forgot I'm gonna sit here and open today's advents with you so I have five advents here Four of them are swaps that I've done with friends. Um, so two of my friends, we just decided to find random things we thought each other might like out of our stash of, of craft materials, but also from op shops and such. This one is from Hayley. Hayley has a podcast. I will link it below. And it feels like fabric. Oh, it's cute. Some nice purple and sort of pinky with the gold fabric. It's beautiful pastel colours. Thank you, Hayley. Oh, I thought I knew what all this feels like. Maybe a headband or something. This one is from Joanne. And Joanne and I focused mostly on swapping. <laughs> I think Hazel's going to enjoy wearing this, actually. Hazel's been walking around with um, reindeer ears on all day. It is a hairband. She must have found this in an op shop. That's funny. <laughs> funny and fun. I will take this on Christmas Day and wear this, Joanne. <laughs> It'll be cool if they were bells like disc, little disco balls. Um, so Joanne and I have been doing mostly teas swapping, but then we, you know, select, said that we'd select a few extra items to pop in the advents as well. This one here is um, from Jacinta. So Jacinta is another maker. She is a ceramicist. Oh, cute little, cute little box painted box. What's in the box? Oh. oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, that is so sweet. Can I show you without it falling over? Here we go. A little toadstool 
and some little gnomes in here. Oh, look at that. That is so cute. So two little gnomes and one of her... I've already purchased some of her mushrooms, toadstools, ceramic ones before. And here is one. Another cute one to put with the others. And oh, that is just so sweet. Such a sweet way to package it up. Oh, beautiful. Thank you. So lovely. And I am also doing an advent swap. This one is from Kathleen. So another advent swap here. And Kathleen is in the States. Kathleen also has, is doing, she's doing um, Blogmas. So I might um, attach her blog down below so you can go and check that out. Aww. Aww. Oh, so cute. So it's this little package, like a little envelope. And then it's got a notepad inside. So sweet. Lovely. Okay, and the last advent is the yarn one that I purchased earlier or mid this year is the Natural Fiber Arts Advent and this one was their I can't remember what they called it, but it's the, the pastel uh, version. There was a dark um, version, so sort of darker, moodier colors, and then um, then these ones. This was like the Merry and Bright or something. Oh, it's another sort of deep. Why, why I say that? Then I've got a sort of moody deep plum <laughs> that I've just received. So. It's beautiful. It's like got brownies, brown, and it's lovely. I will put some footage of all of the um, yarns that I have gotten so you can have a little look and see whether it's something that takes your fancy. I know they sell out fast. Um, I definitely would love to go for this advent again um, and another one I'm looking at a few actually that are on offer within Australia I'd love to purchase some of the ones overseas oh my goodness I would love to purchase the um, the woolly mammoth one um, advent oh, her yarns are just so beautiful um, I would really love to but it's just too expensive too expensive all the postage and that it really really adds up like yeah a lot um, but you know you only live once and maybe one day I will save up enough <laughs> and go yes I will purchase one if I get in too because they sell out fast as well so they are all the advents for today I've got one last day um, of opening advents and then it's Christmas Day. I can't believe it, but I can also believe it. <laughs> oh. I'm really, really looking forward to focusing on other things. I, it's felt like such a... I wouldn't say like a whirlwind because I've really, really enjoyed my time of making and, and getting ready for Christmas. But just it's always so busy with the spring garden to plant and with spring being so late this year like it was just so cold so you couldn't plant some things out and then all of a sudden it's hot <laughs> and i'm wanting to plant out i've still got those tomatoes sitting there waiting to plant out so i might do those later today 
um, but all the sunflowers are coming up now like the plants like they're literally like that <laughs> tall like they're very tiny but I'm really excited because I've got a whole massive row of them like what is it like eight meters of sunflowers and three rows of them I'm very excited I have this vision of them being you know towering over me and just like this wall of sunflowers I can't wait it's gonna be so good I'm just gonna like dedicate a whole entire video to sunflowers <laughs> when that when they finally open and there's just like this mini field of sunflowers that will be really beautiful so I'm gonna go and wrap these beautiful bundles up um, pack the box of all the little presents that um, I have for the kids and then we're going to do a little bit of cleaning up and I'm going to make myself another cup of tea and we're going to sit down with maybe some fruit mince pies and some gingerbread and we're going to watch a Christmas movie. Yeah, we haven't watched a whole lot of Christmas movies this year but I think in previous years we've just overdone it and we're a bit more active this year and you know my kids are older now and um, they want to watch other things and so we're not big TV movie watchers over here we have our family movie nights there are the puppies going for a little walk Aww. so we don't watch a lot like we have family movie night and that could consist of a movie or it could be a series that we watch um, but we didn't have a screen to watch anything on for most of my kids childhoods um, which has been really really lovely um, but now we're really enjoying that time to connect over movies and um, you know we read books sometimes and then we watch the movies that's how we started the the watching stuff too we we would listen to an audiobook of like Charlotte's Web and then <laughs> we'd read it and then we'd watch the movie that was really nice introduction to movies for my kids. Anyway, I'm rambling on and on now and I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go and enjoy some cleaning up and a movie and then I will probably edit this video. We're going to have pizza tonight so that will be an easy one to make up. We just make up our homemade pizzas. And then I will try and get this video completed and then I don't have to think about videos for a long time again. <laughs> it has been um, beautiful to bring you these videos but also quite, you know, it's quite a lot of work. Those of you who have donated over on Ko-fi, um, thank you so much. I have sent some of you the uh, Australian animal patterns, the knitting patterns that I've written. Um, just let me know um, what your Ravelry name is and I'm passing them over or your email if you don't have Ravelry or can't access Ravelry. Yeah, so thank you so much for your support. Those little donations really help a lot and help me bring this content to you. I wish you all a beautiful, happy Christmas. I hope you have a joyful day, whatever you do and however you celebrate it with your family, friends, or if you're just sitting at home knitting, oh, that would be beautiful. <laughs> Enjoying it with your cats and your dogs. But I hope you have a beautiful festive season and a very happy new year. The sun has just burst out and it is looking so beautiful and green out there. I hope you enjoy your winter or your summer wherever you are in the world and take care, be safe, look after yourselves and each other and I will see you next year. Bye, my friends.